Hello everyone, Nutella here again, and today, instead of doing some drawing, I'm actually going to go into some acrylic mm. painting. Mm. School started already, and so I've been pretty busy, so this is actually supposed to be a school project. It's for my art class, but I decided that I would record it because I was actually, I wanted to do this. So yeah. As you can see, I actually, I put way too much water on the canvas, but it sort of evened out. And here I, at first I planned to do this. I had it, the picture in my mind. I wanted to do like a beautiful starry sky, starting off with purple. But the thing is, I didn't have purple acrylic paint, so I had to mix it by myself. And apparently my mixing skills aren't that good because my purple turned out to be very gross. So I changed it and I tried to do blue. Here I'm sort of spreading the dark blue out with a palette knife, but I'm 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 a painting new. I don't I don't really know how to paint. I haven't painted in like I haven't done an actual big acrylic paint painting in like two years. And so I'm here, I'm just, I'm trying to make things look better by adding white, which usually it solves everything. And yeah, I, I just, I go with the flow and I ha didn't really, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just, just doing random stuff, I guess. I, it sort of, it gets better later on because I sort of, I sort of worked it all out, I guess. So I, Here's when I fixed it, sort of, I added more blue and white, and then I actually used the big brush, which was a lot of fun. The big brush helped a lot. It was, it, it made things so much easier because I could cover a lot of space with just like a couple strokes. And so the story behind this painting actually, it didn't, it, at first it just started out with being a, a mess and then I sort of like I thought of what I was actually going to do and then I decided that I was going to do this like sunset sky and then it would be in the nature and wildlife but when I was painting this I was sort of thinking of that time when I went to when I went on a trip with my family to Colorado and then we went hiking and it was really beautiful. I forgot the name of the place, but yeah, it was it was beautiful. So here, I, I made a mistake. I, I thought that it would be orange, but apparently the yellow mixed with the blue and it became an ugly orange brownish color. And again, white saved the day. It made things a lot brighter, but I will fix this later on. Oh, well, I guess I already did, sort of. By adding yellow, it, it made the color more like a sunset because brown is not really a sunset. As I was saying, when I was painting this, I was thinking about that time when I went on a trip with my family to, Cor to, to, to Colorado and we went hiking. That was, one of the, that was one of the most fun things that I had done um, involving nature and wildlife besides camping. I was just thinking about like um, the beauty of the of the nature and God's creation. It was it, I had so much fun doing that hiking, and then like it was we climbed pretty high because um, when I looked over when I turned around and I looked there I could see so many beautiful things. I could see all the nature. I could see the city, and it was it was very pretty. Well, actually, it wasn't much of a city. It was more like, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't like city. Yeah, I don't know the word for it. Well, here I'm preparing to add the trees. This was still when I didn't really have an idea of what I was doing. I was just going with the flow and I wasn't really thinking things, tr thinking things through. So I just did some squiggly lines for the trees, but I will fix that later on, again. So this is how the sunset sky turned out. I think it turned out pretty nice. So I was just filling out the grass, and then um, this is when I, I just, I really, 
thought things through and I decided that I needed to make the trees better and somebody knocked the camera and it got wobbly for a bit there but I hope that's fine it, it wasn't for too long and so this is the more detailed trees I did the trees just by dabbing my paintbrush over and over again using the smallest paintbrush that I had the one that still that wasn't ruined and it, it just it came out like that this is just one of my my painting techniques says the noob but yeah that's that's one of my painting strategies I guess so as I was painting I said like all I thought about was basically the beautiful sunset at Colorado and yeah so here I'm mixing the white and black to make a light gray so that I could paint the rocks. Well, you know, after I finished this painting, I realized that the rocks actually looked a bit weird, but now I'm just, I'm too lazy to fix it. It's, the weird thing about it is because it's so smooth. It's supposed to be rocky, but it's just flat. Originally, this video, this painting, well, how long I took to paint was about an hour and, and ten minutes, I think. And so here I was, I was, I was running out. My paint was drying up, so I, I later on I used um, a sponge to smooth things out. Using the palette knife again, I use it to spread out the black to make it a bit of a darker gray and look more like a rock. Then I realized that in that corner there, I forgot to fill out that spot of the sunset. One of my tips from a noob, from painting noob, well, one of my so-called tips is whenever your paint is drying up, you add water to it so that it will, it will be more wet. And here's when I used the sponge to smooth things out. I did it a bit messily, but yeah, uh, as I said, I'm a painting new. I haven't painted in at least two years. I did this on Sunday morning, and I haven't really... I've been tired because of my homework, so I did this a bit late. So, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. On with the painting. So here I'm also I'm actually mixing a paint, but I don't think you can see it because oh, never mind. I was using white, so I guess I didn't. I didn't it. Well, here I'm adding some clouds, and I started off by using a white line and then dabbing with my paintbrush again and forming the shape of a cloud. I like the way these clouds turned out. I think they're really cute especially the small ones and they're supposed to look fluffy i don't know whether i catch whether i captured that or not but yeah i just continued on with the clouds and for some reason my hair wouldn't stay out of the video it just it wanted to be in i wanted to be part of it don't ask me why it's my hair i feel like i'm just talking to myself but eh. I'm pretty sure somebody's listening. At least one person. Who isn't me. This is when the painting started taking form. You could see the, the basic shape of it. It had the sky, the sunset, the clouds, the rock, and the trees. The bottom is actually cut. Um, the camera isn't looking down enough, but that gets adjusted later on. So this is when I drew that uh, person on the ledge. I'm not sure how I managed to, to add a little person there. I mean, I'm horrible at doing those kind of things, but I guess I just blocked in some shapes that sort of looked like a person. Then I tried to add like a dog sitting next to her or a cat, but I don't know whether it actually looks like one or not. I just, I, I act like I'm really good at it, but actually I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I decided to make her pointing at something, and this took, um, this was actually, I was so pressured to not get anything wrong because it's, it's, it's a detail and I don't want to get details wrong, especially since people will look at 
the little person. But overall, I think she looked really nice. And so I added some shading on the trees, adding, adding more black, and I, actually I ran out of white. So I, it was, it was a good thing that I had um, a, a big bottle of the white paint from two years ago. It's still there, and actually it should be expired by now, but it was still working for me, so I used it. So I filled in the the hill in the background in the distance, so it was it's black because it's shadows. And then I added more trees, and yep, that's basically it. I guess that's pretty much all I did besides adding some more highlights and adding flowers to to the hills. About, and I just have three more trees to do left for the highlights and then I added I decorated the the, the grassy hill with flowers I seriously will never forget that time when I went to Colorado it was just so much fun and I wish I could do that again especially since now we're all at home but I encourage everybody to stay positive and to just let, use this time wisely because, I mean, what better time than now to try to use your creativity? Or you could just sit down and watch TV all day. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. This time I was actually adding those little dots for flowers in, but apparently the camera didn't quite show it so yeah I'm really sorry about that but after I did that I added some shading to the, to the clouds to give it more depth so that it wouldn't just be white blobs on paper on the canvas I almost said paper but yeah that's pretty much it besides adding some more highlights and little tiny details and touch-ups that's yeah that's that's it this video is especially long because it's actually quite special because usually I either do digital art or I do traditional art. For those of you who don't know the difference, digital art is when I do art on any digital media like on an iPad or in the computer. Well, usually I do it on the iPad. And traditional art is when I do art on paper using multimedia art supplies, I guess. And yep. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, be positive, and remember, donuts for life and do not worry. Bye!